you, to Supriya, and to all the young people who are saying loud and clear at the California Capitol, don't take our future away from us. So I want to start with just a couple of important points. You know, some people say climate change, it's an existential crisis, as if 30 or 40 years from now we're going to have to worry about it. It's not an existential crisis, it's a state of emergency right now in 2019. Yeah! Others say that thank God we have young people who are caring and who are deciding to take the mantle of leadership. And that is, I would say, 90% true. But there's one part of it which I've got to just say that we adults cannot just hand it over to young people. We need to take the action now. And you are inspiring us, not saying to us, hand it over or wait for us because we'll fix the world. You are inspiring us and pushing us, frankly, to take the action now. And that is what we must do together. <laughs> this is not an issue where we can think or act in small ways. We have to think and act in big ways. And climate change is inextricably linked with income inequality and the lack of equity in our society. There are too many people left out, too many people having a hard time, too many communities that are affected by pollution and bad air quality. This coalition will be even stronger when it merges with the equity coalitions in California to say, we want a better world, we want a better community, we want fairness, we want bold action, now, now, now. Yeah! We can do a million small things and we must like compost, recycle, plant trees. That's very, very important. But we must also do big things. And it starts in Sacramento and it starts in California. We have got to. I want to talk for just a moment about this building behind us. Because it also starts with thinking about power differently than the conventional way, especially for young people. I worked in this building for 14 years, and I had the privilege of meeting many young people. And a lot of times, young people, all people, not just young people, come into the building, and they think that they are visiting the place where these important people work. And it's actually just the opposite. You're the important people, and the people who work in there work for you. The minute you and we together start repeating what's happening out here today, to say and believe we are the owners of this building, the young people are the owners of this building. You're never a visitor. Your power is enormous. Those of you who are 18, those of you who are 18, vote. Those of you who are not yet 18 will soon vote. Make everybody in a position of power, including me, pay attention. Pay attention to the power of your voices. You do not have to settle for a mediocre world. You don't have to settle for half steps. 
You don't have to settle for doomsday. There are so many things we can do that you are doing to change the course of this world and I can only encourage you to be in it for the long haul. It's great to be out here today. It's even more important that you show up here on a regular basis and make your activism a life commitment always and forever because that's the only thing that brings real change. Thank you very much, everyone.